It's Tim and Tony from UniquelyLiving.com and we wanted to show you our tiny house. We just finished it in October and we live in Montana so we've made it through a Montana winter. It was a very snowy one this year. Timmy, can you tell us a little about the house please? Well, the house is built on a fifth wheel trailer so it's mobile and it has three and a half inches of sprayed in foam insulation in the walls, the ceiling. The floor has an R value of 21 because I felt that was very important on the floor. I don't like to have cold feet. Let's go in and see it. Want to? Yeah. Say hello to Bob. Hi, Bob. Her metal sculpture. This is the front door, of course. Come in to the kitchen. Here we have a kitchen. Got a little hot plate here for cooking, which doesn't look like much, but it really works quite well. Does it? Convection oven, microwave, um, paper towel holder, woohoo, coffee pot, full sink, which is nice. Underneath the counter here we have our hot water on demand, which is propane. And it's really nice because you have lots of hot water, unless you're running out of propane like we did the other night. And burr. Under here we have our garbage on rollouts, really nice. Recycle bin here. Storage, kitchen storage for whatever. It's kitchen stuff. More kitchen stuff rolling out like this. These drawers are really nice because nothing gets lost in the back. Nothing can hide out and jump out and grab you. Up here we have what we call the media room, which is a really nice room. Media room, living room, whatever you want to call it. And up we go. Now, best thing about this is you notice I'm standing. Yes, I'm not very tall, but we have like almost a six foot roof here. Of course, it's on a slope, but anyway. Also doubles as a bedroom, guest bedroom. Couches, um, very comfortable, very, very nice. Here we have what we call the pass-through because when you're up here watching a movie and you want some popcorn and whoever happens to make the popcorn can pass it over here to you until you can eat it. Sweet, nice. Down the stairs, follow me. What's this? This is, oh, sorry, this is our heater. 25,000 BTU propane heater that will heat this place like that. Even when it's 5, 10 below. It's still warm and toasty in here for about a dollar a day. Here we have what we call a bump out. Now, this wall folds in, this wall folds in, the floor folds up, roof folds down, your legal width to go heading down the highway. This is our favorite little we sit in the morning, we have our coffee, play a game of cribbage, which I win most of the time here lately. It's kind of nice. And in the evening, we sit and we have an adult beverage and discuss how our day went. And play <laughs> some more cards, which I usually win again. <laughs> oh, that's a very good beverage. And in here, come this way. Here we have... Could be an office. The wife likes to kind of set her computer up and do her computer stuff. I'm not really sure. I'm not going to go there. Uh, also doubles as a dining room. We have a little leg that goes in here. Tables down. Can fit four here comfortably. Very comfortably. We actually had our Christmas dinner here with our boys. Okay. I'm getting told to hurry up. I'm being slow. Table folds down, we put that up there just because it's handy. Got a hook here. Got another hook here. Otherwise it hits the floor and makes a really bad noise and hits you on the toe. Voila, we have the Murphy bed. Murphy bed folds down. Notice how neat and tidy it is. The only way to make a Mur put a Murphy bed up is to make it. And it's really nice because your bed is always made. Beautiful. Goes back up just as easy as it came down. Boom. There's storage up on top in the little bends. 
whole closet. A nice big closet. Nice big closet. Under here we also have a holding tank because if you're not hooked up to a well system or city water, whatever, you're out in a remote area, you can still have water. Still have a shower, still have your hot water. We actually lived in it for three or four months before we were up on a pump and yeah, and packed water, but you have water. There's another little cubby up high cubby for here. storage. Yep. And there's a full armoire there. Full what? armoire with my one and only top shelf. Guys, you'll know what I'm talking about. Proud to have the one shelf. Here we have our bathroom sink. This sink, I think. Did you get this? Uh, second hand? Where did you get this sink? I got it at a very special store and it's really cool. And that's how I decorated the whole house was because I thought that was awesome. On the sink, we got a little more kind of messy storage down there. I won't show you that because that's my, yeah. Anyway, here we have a full bed bathroom. Composting toilet. Tony, do you want to tell them about a composting toilet? We have nature's head composting toilet. And because we're not on a septic here, we need to go with a composting toilet. And it's amazingly easy. I have been learning so much about composting, which is awesome. It works. And it really works. Tim wanted a tub, so we went with a water trough. And I wanted a shower, so I got my shower. Lots of room in here. I like how it separates the rest of the house. And so if you want to sleep in, in the bedroom or whatever, you can. And you don't feel like you're cramped. So this is our tiny house. I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you want to come visit our beautiful state of Montana, just go on our website to www.uniquelyliving.com and you can find the link to see where you can rent this and see if you like tiny living. Thank you. Try it out. Thank you.